All right, let's try this one. First thing to notice is this is a divide sign, which wasn't necessarily easy to see before. Okay, let's try to figure out how to solve this. The first thing we want to do is look at the fractions and think order of operations. Can't do anything inside the brackets. There's nothing really to be done there. But we're going to go left to right, so let's start by multiplying two fractions, top times top, 14, bottom times bottom, 6 times negative 7 is negative 42. Alright, divided by, and before we get to the next step, negative 5 divided by negative 9 is the same as 5 over 9. The two negatives cancel out, so that saves us some time. And while we're at it, we might as well change this negative 1 fifth to improper form by multiplying 1 times 5 and adding 1. That gives us negative 6 over 5. All right. Next step. When you have a fraction divided by a fraction, it's the same as taking that fraction, that is the second one, flipping it upside down, and changing the operation to multiply. Let's just leave it like that for now. So now we have 14 over negative 42 times 9 over 5, and we're going to do that, but let's try and cancel things out. I know 3 goes into negative 42. 42, that is, divided by 3 gives me negative 14. Oh, that's convenient. And the top here has to be divided by the th same thing, in this case 3. And so we're left with 14 over negative 14. Well, that's nice. This divides by 14, leaving 1. This divides by 14, leaving negative 1. And look how easy it is to multiply now. 1 times 3 and negative 1 times 5 all take away negative 6 over 5. Okay, but how do we subtract when we have different denominators? 1 to 5, 1 to negative 5. Easy. A fraction with a negative on the bottom is the same as the fraction with the negative on the top. And so we get negative 3 over 5 minus 6 over 5, which is just negative 9 over 5.